can someone please explain to me as to why I am still in pain even though I'm literally drugged out on Advil. I didn't go to yoga the past two days because I have really bad cramps. Today I will be getting my hair done. I think it's time. I've had a lot of self-control since August and I think that it's time to change it up. But yeah, after I do that, I will be heading to the tattoo studio. want to be in my vlog <laughs> eating show I'm up 5 a.m. to start on my project due on Wednesday for my archive class where I'm gonna cut up stuffed animals. I don't know how I'm supposed to save money when I need to buy the dumbest shit for classes. <gasps> oh my god, it's the same thing. That's it, I've gone crazy. The only thing that my high school has taught me is how to BS an essay in under half the time it should actually take. So that's what we're gonna do now! <laughs> Surprisingly, I am quite on schedule. I'm actually two hours ahead of my self-made schedule. So now I am going to be heading to printmaking studio to work on the newest piece that's due. My Monday needs to be carved. My Monday. Oh my god, my keys. Where are my keys? This is what I printed earlier in class from this block over here. This was printed using the printing press while this was printed by hand. I'm not too happy about this. It's okay. I didn't sleep at all last night, like not even 10 minutes. And I kept falling asleep in class, obviously, because I didn't sleep. And I would like wake up, go back to sleep, wake up and go. And I, I fell asleep last week too. And the teachers keep asking me if I want to stand up for a little, like how they do to you in elementary school or like middle school. It's so fucking embarrassing. So right now I will be working on carving on this for the next two hours, yeah.
gonna FaceTime my mommy while I carve. There she picks up. That's my camera. Mama, I'm gonna head to my history class right now, and this is how much carving I got done. Further than expected, actually. I'm gonna work on this every day, and then tomorrow I need to wake up at 5:30, and then to start on my painting. Uh, Tuesday after class, I normally give myself a little break. So tonight, I'm gonna go grab dinner with a friend and then see my other friend. I thought that I could save money today, but guess how much I spent on just art supplies? $200 today. <gasps> hmm. I just got back from hot yoga and I have two hours before I have to leave for the tattoo studio. So I'm gonna work on carving this little bitch, continue carving her. And if I have time or if I feel like it, I'm gonna start a sketch for an oil painting and maybe edit part of the video. But she's number one. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Just got back from hot yoga and I'm so tired, but I must get to painting. I am running late as usual. What did I expect? But I'm gonna show you guys 
have to look presentable in five minutes. This is what I do every day. Grab your moisturizer. Moisturize. Lip balm. I have a canker sore and I don't even know why. Because I've been I haven't really eaten any junk food lately. Do your eyebrows. Brows are done. For blush, I have been using my lipstick. And then you use this on your lips. And now you look like you're 12 and not 5. Presentable. Let's go. She's done. done. Bye. <laughs> I'm so tired, but I am hungry. I'm late, per usual, but what did I expect? <laughs>
So this is the wood block that I printed from this morning. It looks like this right now. These are two of the few prints that I made from it. They look like this. This wood was pretty hard to carve just because it's birch plywood and the grain runs straight. So if you carve against the grain, if you carve against the grain, like sometimes it breaks and such, but I try really hard to not do that. Which is why you can see that some parts are broken, like here, and like little details, but just because it's going against the grain. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this piece. I'm thinking about coloring it digitally, or even painting it traditionally for my painting class as a project. Today, I ran all over Brooklyn for a piece of wood for my open project that I'm gonna be starting on for printmaking this week. I'm really excited about it. I know I'm gonna be doing detailed stuff again just because I love doing detailed stuff. It's okay, I will suffer as long as the end result is good. So that's what I'm gonna be working on before my English class starts. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna be sketching out ideas. So this is the end to this week's vlog. I was very productive and I'm really happy because I've still been using my planner really well. This video was done in collaboration with Skillshare and I really want to thank them for sponsoring me. If you guys didn't know what Skillshare is, it is an online learning community and you can learn from other fellow creatives. There's so much of them and you could also accomplish your own goals using it. So the class that I've been taking is called Ink Drawing Techniques Brush, Nib, and Pen Style and it's by Yuko Shimizu and she's an illustrator and it's a 90 minute class that just teaches you these different types of drawing techniques with ink. So for example, there's like basic brush nib and ink techniques, Asian versus watercolor brushes, illustration textures, and inking fundamentals. And I think it's really interesting because if you guys didn't know, I applied to Pratt as an illustration major, which I later changed to painting just because I like the painting program here more. So I really want to dabble into more illustrative types of work, which I do do during my tattoo apprenticeship, but I want to do more, you know? So one class that I really like of hers are the illustrating techniques and there's a part one and part two to it which like I've said before different ways to use pen and ink and she also introduces you to different styles of illustrating with pen which I find really interesting and my favorite one is the art that she shows in part two of illustrating techniques since I've been pretty busy lately, I've been taking this class really, really slowly, but I'm still learning a lot from it, and I hope to continue that on for the next two weeks or so. So because I've been so busy, Skillshare has been great for this because even though it's a 90-minute class, it's divided into different segments where you can skip around, fast forward, pause anytime you want, and it just fits with my routine so well. So compared to like other workshops and like classes where you actually have to go there in person, like art school. Skillshare is incredibly affordable. I think it's like $10 a month or something. So yeah, if you guys want to explore your creativity, I want to mention that Skillshare is giving away a free two month premium membership to the first 500 people that click the link in my description box. So don't forget to check that out. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.